Hi everyone, this is Joel over at the Niobe Zoo, and today I'd like to talk to you about upcycling. Upcycling is something that you can do with items that you have around your house that maybe you don't really use anymore, or you don't use them for their original purpose, but maybe they could be repurposed for something else. Uh, so one of the things I'd like to do today with you is show you an upcycling project where you could take an old t-shirt uh, and change it into something like a reusable bag. Now, of course, we have these really cool reusable bags over at the Niobe Zoo gift shop, but of course, since we're closed right now, uh, you can't quite get over there to get your reusable bags. Uh, and this, of course, reusable bags are important because they reduce our use of plastics. Those single-use plastics, uh, especially here during Earth Week, as we're talking about ways that we can help the Earth, reducing our use of single-use plastic is probably one of the top things that we could do, certainly to help uh, save animals uh, in the ocean, uh, but also keep those plastics out out of uh, the waste stream but also out of our rivers and streams and everything like that um, so we're not gonna have one of these but we're gonna take one of these t-shirts and make it into a reusable bag uh, now of course uh, you may have t-shirts that have really cool old graphics or even if you have uh, uh, kids that have been to our zoo camps and they really love those zoo camp t-shirts, but maybe they don't fit in them anymore uh, Those are really great candidates to make into some of our reusable bags Now the only things you really need besides the t-shirt is maybe a ruler and some scissors I highly recommend fabric scissors fabric scissors make this go a whole lot easier uh, But what we're gonna do basically is uh, we are looking at this as uh, the bag itself and uh, straps will be up here uh, so what we want to do with our fabric scissors is we want to go to our sleeves here and we're going to cut off the sleeve but what i want you to do is leave the seam on there uh, so we're going to cut on the outside of the seam uh, right at the edge and we're going to leave that seam on there just to add some strength to your handles uh, so it doesn't get too stretched out or anything like that so once we cut those off there we go there's part of that uh, and we're going to set that ruler aside for a second. We're going to cut off this other one over here. And then what we want to do is cut off the collar. Now, uh, on the collar here, uh, we don't want to cut it down to what you would think you would need for the thin part of a strap because it's not going to necessarily be strong enough. Uh, so we're actually going to uh, use our ruler and we're going to measure about four inches over uh, and we're going to place a little cut right there at four inches and then we're going to do the same over here we're going to measure about four inches over and place just a little cut now as we place those little cuts what we want to do is we want to cut off the collar but we want to make sure the opening is big enough to put items inside uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to follow the curve of the collar but you're going to cut it down to just above the graphic just like that so you can see i've even traced kind of a little shape there uh, with my scissors, which could be a nice little line for us to cut. And so I'm going to follow that curve around. And this doesn't have to be a perfect curve or anything like that. Got to watch out for my little uh, giraffe there. Keep his ossicones on there. And we're going to bring that all the way around to our other mark. Just like that. So we're going to take that and set that aside. We don't really need that anymore. But uh, now you may look at these and go, wow, those, those handles look really wide. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of those uh, t-shirt uh, sleeves and we're going to cut off that seamed edge uh, on the end. We're just going to cut that and put that aside. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to snip it at either end like that you'll have two little pieces like this. Now what I want you to do with those is we're gonna come into that top of the shirt and we're going to take this and we're just gonna tie a double knot. And that'll keep those handles uh, thin enough for you but uh, still leaving enough fabric to keep them strong. So we just tie a double knot into that and there you go. Do the same to this side over here. Just gonna tuck that through our little double knot and there we go we've got some nice strong and sturdy handles now 
uh, you'd say, oh, look, you're done, except that if you put anything in there, it will just fall out. So uh, what we have to do is we have to stitch together the bottom. Now, when I say stitch together, you don't need a sewing machine with this. You just need these scissors and the ability to tie some double knots. Now, what I want you to do first, though, is turn this shirt inside out so that the graphic is on the inside, okay? And then we're gonna line this up down here. We're gonna tighten this up a little bit so it's nice and even. Okay, and here is where your ruler comes to play. You are done with these pieces of fabric, so you don't need those. Uh, but what we wanna do is uh, remembering about four inches, four inches we'll use that. Um, we're gonna measure up about four inches here. If you wanted to put a mark all the way across here, you can do that. It's not entirely necessary. I'm just gonna put my finger there and I'm just gonna lay my ruler so it looks even across here. Because what we wanna do is we want to cut about every one inch, we're gonna cut all the way up four inches all the way across the bottom of this. Now, the first cut though is not gonna be at one inch. It's actually gonna be along the edge, right along the side here. So we're just gonna snip that so that it separates the front from the back. And then we're gonna come in every inch and cut a strip. So as we come across here, and again, these don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be exactly an inch. They don't even have to go all the way up exactly to the full four inches. You just wanna be pretty close with that. So as we come across and cut each one of these, you're gonna see all of these little individual strips, right? And so those little individual strips, we're actually gonna to tie together. Now, of course, for the sake of time for this video, I, of course, pre-cut all of those. And so we can see what that looks like right here. Now, as we have all of these little strips here, uh, what we want to do with those strips is we actually want to tie all of those together. Uh, we're not just gonna tie them at random. Uh, I've already started on this side so that you can see that we've, what we've done is we've made a nice tight seal at the bottom uh, so that the bottom isn't gonna come apart. Uh, but what we wanna do with that, we're gonna start here at the very edge and I want you to tie a double knot. So just tie one through and then tie it again, a double knot. We're gonna go to the next two and do the same thing tie it through and tie a double knot. Now, you could just stop right there, but you're gonna end up with tiny little gaps in between. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the two, so I've, I've got four of these, uh, so these two and these two, and I am actually gonna tie across. So when I say across, you see that it's kind of like four squares. Well, I'm gonna take this corner and this corner and tie those also in a double knot. One, and two. And then I'm gonna do the same with the opposite two. I'm gonna tie those into a double knot. One, and two. And again, that's a nice sturdy piece there. Now, you're gonna do the exact same thing all the way across. So we're gonna to go to the next two. We're gonna tie those into a double knot. And now, from those two, I'm also going to tie them to the previous ones into a double knot, and that links those together. Right, so just pick one from any of the previous ones to tie that into a double knot. One and two. There. Okay, so we're doing the next one. Tying it into a double knot. And then bringing that back to one of the previous ones and tying that into a double knot. And then take this one to a previous and tie it to a double knot. Lots and lots of double knots. Okay, so you should get the idea there that as you continue uh, to tie all of these into their double knots and then tie them back to the previous double knots, that is going to make a nice tight seal all the way across the bottom of your bag. Now when that is done, you'll be able to turn that right side in and you'll have your nice tight seam right at the bottom all the way across. 
Uh, and that will make, of course, a very fine bag, which will have a nice sizable opening to put items in. Uh, and you can do that, of course, not just with your, uh, your zoo t-shirts, but, you know, me particularly, I'm a Star Wars fan. I had this old t-shirt and I love this t-shirt, but I just didn't really wear it much anymore. Uh, so I made that into one of my bags. And so you could do the exact same thing really with any of your t-shirts and you can have your own collection of bags to take to the store. And of course they wrap up and they store into something very, very small. Uh, so it's very convenient to keep it on hand with you. And uh, like I say, it's important to consider all of the things that you have at your house uh, that you might just want to throw away, but rather than put it in a landfill, maybe you can reuse it for something else. So I'm not just talking about t-shirts. Uh, maybe you could use old pieces of wood uh, if you have an old pallet around that you would stack things on. Uh, there's a wonderful way to make pallets into uh, standing gardens uh, just by using some window screen and some potting soil. Uh, and that gives a great way to make a vertical space uh, for gardens. Uh, you could even use milk jugs and make them into birdhouses or feeders or anything like that. So there's, there's unlimited things that you can do uh, with upcycling projects. Just take the time, Google it, look online, look on YouTube, look on any of the spaces that you can find uh, different projects that you could use, uh, items that you already have. Uh, so that means you don't have to go out and buy things. Uh, it gives you projects that you could work on, maybe with your family, uh, especially during this time where people are spending their time at home, a lot of time at home, uh, and you're looking for projects to do. Well, these are fun little easy things that you can do that doesn't cost you any money and fills your time with something that's very productive and fun for your family. So I hope all of you continue to think about ways that uh, you can upcycle, but also the impact that that leaves on the earth uh, by reusing things rather than just buying new all the time. Uh, so keep uh, working on ways to help the earth. Uh, remember that Earth Day is every day and we will see you guys tomorrow for the next video during Earth Week. Thanks so much everyone. Bye now.